It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Giants and the Houston Texans. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the Space City, Houston, Texas, and NRG Stadium. Good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson with you. You know, partner, fantasy football doesn't take into account the guys close to the football, the guys at the line of scrimmage. This is one where our eyes are going to be focused on that battle in the trenches all game long. Mike, it doesn't matter if it's peewee football, middle school football, or NFL football. You can only do offensively what your offensive line allows you to do. And I think that's exactly the case for both of these teams here today. They are going to win or lose based on the ability of gaining an advantage in the offense and defensive line. So I think we're going to see downhill run game. I think we're going to see play action pass. And the team that's able to impose their will up front along the trenches, I think that's going to be the team that finds himself at the end of this one coming out with the win. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Giants led out by their quarterback, Daniel Jones. Here he is. It's year six in the NFL. He was the sixth overall pick back in 2019 out of Duke. And Jones still at the helm for the Giants. Here's what you call a little bit of a polarizing player, Mike. His career has been a bit of a mixed bag after being a first-round pick a few years back. At times, he looks like a bona fide franchise quarterback. At others, he looks like a guy who's still trying to find his way and take that next step. It's the consistency. That's the biggest issue. If that changes, man, he'll finally be able to reach his full potential. Look him up on a second down and eight. Throwing now is Jim. Oh, the blitz gets there quickly, and down he goes. Well, here early on, if this pass rush continues to get home at this rate, this is going to be a long day for this offense. They're going to have to put some extra guys in there, mix in some play action, keep this pass rush off balance. Third and long. Working from the gun, it's Jones. He is dangerous when a play breaks down. A pickup of 18. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner. Picks up the first down. Here's first and ten. On the give, it's Singletary. And he'll only be able to muster a couple of yards. Christian Harris there on the stop. It's Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. Open man, Max Slayton. They'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. 22 yards, the pickup there. First down, Giants. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. Again, right side, this is Singletary. 
Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Shotgun now for Jones. He'll get it into the hands of Slayton. He'll get about six before he's taken down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. He'll try and run for the first with Singletary. That's a gain of 15. That's good for a Giants first down. Over the last couple years, Mike, we've seen the trend in the NFL is that third down has really become a passing down, but not here. Not for this team. They keep the ball on the ground. They're able to pick up a big gain. Fresh set of downs. Jones now on first down. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one. Like, he really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. Mean, he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Now Jones throwing on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Throwing is Jones on third down. That is caught. And the Giants are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them down to the one. Well, this is how you dream up the opening script. You get the ball first, and you want to go down and set the tone for the rest of the game. Well, it looks like the coaches did a great job when they built that script during the week. But that big-time throw, they got a shot now with first and goal to end this opening drive with a touchdown. Jones operating out of the pistol. That one taken in. Darius Slayton. Touchdown, New York. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Now it's Graham Gano for the PAT. The kick is good. And the Giants will take a 7-0 lead. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. And this will wind up working out well. He's going to take it up to the 40-yard line. Good return. The Texans come out with the rookie of the year from last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, he was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. If there's going to be a poster child for just how flawed the pre-draft process can be at times, I think this guy's at the top. I mean, just think, last year, people are nitpicking him going into his rookie year. He can't do this. He can't do that. And what does he do? He comes out and has arguably the greatest rookie quarterback season in NFL history, not only bringing his franchise back to life, but really establishing himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the entire league. It is a big-time play for Houston. 31 yards. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. A 
a fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the gun, here's Stroud. That's to the big ticket acquisition. Stephon Diggs. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. That one good for 13. First down for Houston. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. That's caught. It's Joe Mixon. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. Motioning one of the tight ends. Man acquired by trade in the offseason, it's Joe Mixon. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. He'll try to run for it. This is a part of the field where you have to account for the quarterback as a runner. Nothing's open downfield. Great job by your secondary. But then he makes a break for the goal line, and they're able to stop him just short, but not until after he sets his guys up first and goal. They'll run here with Mixon, and he'll go down back at the four. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. Throwing on second down, Strap. He's got his big tight end, Dalton Schultz. Touchdown, Texans. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. Now Kaimi Fairbear on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Texans come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. Isaiah McKenzie now to return. Good return, but he pays the price at the end. Picked up and thrown down. The Giants offense ready to get going with their second possession. They'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Singletary. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scourge, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Throwing Jones. Defensive coordinators preach all the time. Play past defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. Here's a third and ten. Now Jones. That'll be 
caught by the running back, Singletary. And he'll be taken down. And that's going to do it. That's the last play of the first quarter. On fourth down, it's hammer time. The Scottish hammer. Jamie Gillen on to kick as he's on here to punt this one away. A fair catch signaled, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. C.J. Stroud and the Houston offense set to get going again. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with no chance at all. He'll go down. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Back to throw. Stroud. The throw on the run is complete. And they're going to move this all the way up near the 35-yard line. A gain of 21 on that pass play. It's good for a Texans first down. One of the things that makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL, Mike, is his ability to create separation downfield. He makes it so easy for his quarterback to not only find him, but to constantly create a nice throwing window like he did right there. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Mark him at the 48-yard line. Give him 17 more, and they are on a roll. Another first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards. That one intercepted. Picked off by Jason Pinna. And he's going to give a short field to his offense here as they try to break the top. So the first part of any interception, it just end up with the ball in your hands, right? That's what every defensive coordinator wants. But anytime you can get yards on the return, that's just an add and bonus. And that's what we see here. There's a little space, does a great job securing the catch, and all of those yards just set up for better field position as their offense takes the field. The Giants offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They'll start in outstanding field position Looking for a way to break our top. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way. Live to play another down. He'll try again here. Second and ten. Joe. He's got his man, that's Slayton. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone def And he's in. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, New York. Greg, they take advantage of the good field position and move it downfield for the score. When you take the field as an offense, there's a little added confidence boost, Mike, when you see yourself this close to the end zone. You get into the huddle, you're anxious to see what the next couple plays are. They're able to take advantage and end up punching it in.
Now, Cano for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Giants will move out to a 14-7 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This one taken at the 7. Oh, he's got room past the 30. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. the bootleg it's Stroud pass downfield is caught by Brown and he's down inside the 40 yard line from the 39 here's a first and 10 throwing is Stroud The tight end Schultz. They'll come up here on second down and five. Here's Stroud. Open man left side is Brown. He's got it. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. Well, they hook up again. Second time on this drive. And this one's good for 18 yards. And a first down. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver, who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. Set to go now on first and ten. They will work the middle with Mixon. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Second and 11. Here's Stroud. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Noah Brown. Touchdown, Houston. Now Fairbairn for the extra point. He's got it. And the Texans will tie things up. We are all even at 14. back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. This taken in at the 8-yard line. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Malik Neighbors heading out with the Giants offense for their next possession. This one, everything we could have hoped for to this point. All even at 14. We'll start this drive with first down. Jones will get this out wide to Neighbors. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down.
They'll work now on second and four. Here's Jones. He tosses over the middle. This one is caught. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And, and what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties, make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. And really, the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often, those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Jones to the air again. They look middle here and get it to neighbors. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. A pickup of 12 yards. First down, Giants. So, two minutes to play in a back and forth first half. Greg and I, back from Houston. In a moment. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Again, it's Jones. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Shotgun now for Jones. Well, left side, that's Johnson. And he's out of bounds at the five, and they're in business. It is first and goal. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. It is brought in in the end zone. Darius Slayton. Touchdown, Giants. That's his second touchdown so far here in the first half. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start of this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. Gano on to add the extra point. It's up and through. And the Giants have broken the deadlock as they move out to a 21 to 14 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this is fielded inside the five and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop 
The Texans offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They're searching here for the tying score, down 21-14. And they'll begin first and 10. They'll begin on the ground, and here's Mixon. He'll burrow his way forward for a couple. Jason Pinnock there to end it. A second down throw for Stroud. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Stephon Diggs there. Third down coming up. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. The Texans going to go ahead and use their first time out here. As they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. First and ten. Now Stroud. That's caught. It's Damian Pierce. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. On second down, Stroud. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. Third and long. They'll run with Mixon. And the Giants here will use the first of their timeouts. Clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. So, fourth down, and it's the former Chief, Tommy Townsend, to punt for Houston. Isaiah McKenzie to bring it back for the Giants. Good hang time. The fair catch will be made back at their own 12. In motion, it's Robinson. They fake the jet sweep and will hand it up the middle. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. So we reach halftime here, and the visiting Giants are out on top. As we'll head over to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He has the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome, in everyone, to our Halftime Report. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Now return, coming from the seven. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. So now, out comes the offense led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing, and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. Schultz is the motion man. 
On first down, they'll start with Mixon. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. the gun. Here's Stroud. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. And they bring him down to nine until he gets the 45-yard line. Ten yards the gain on the pitch and catch. First down for Houston. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. The 3-4 defense, Mike, is predicated on the big man over the center. The nose tackle. He's big. He's strong. He takes up the entire middle of the defense. And that's exactly what we just saw on that play. He makes the stop for no gain. It's a short pickup, taking this to the 49. Micah McFadden, the linebacker, there on the tackle. Third and six. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. And he will slide to a halt, but he does have the first down. Twelve yards there, and a first down. This is exactly how it's supposed to look on third down. His eyes are downfield, nothing materializes. He quickly decides he can do it himself, picks up the first down, and then to protect himself with the slide, well done. Stroud to throw here on first down. He's going to look for the home run ball. He's looking for Joe Mixon coming out of the backfield. It's second down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. Throwing on second down. Stroud. Yeah. And he'll be out of bounds all the way down at the 10. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. A run here with Mixon. And a short pickup down inside the 10. They'll go right back to Mixon. And he'll be taken down. Let's call it the seven-yard line. And here comes third and goal. Bear Bear to add the extra point.
His kick is good. And the Texans will even the score. It's now 21 off. So back to level after the touchdown. And time for the kickoff. Here comes a return from the five. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Giants offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. This one tight throughout, all level at 21. As they'll search for a go-ahead score. Now a play fake. Jones. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They nearly connected on the big play downfield, but he's not quite able to hold on to that ball through the contact. You can chalk that one up as a win defensively. Jones to throw on second down. To the outside, complete to Johnson. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Good work after the catch. They gain 19 yards and a first down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. A give to Singletary on the zone read. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. That's 13 more on that play. And quickly, another first down. Really nice job by the interior of this offensive line. It typically just takes one guy to distort the defense to give the back enough room to operate. And that's exactly what they did here. And it led to a big game. Jones now on first down. Now a screen to be set up for Singletary. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. On play action, it's Jones. This one is hauled in by Daniel Bellinger. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. It's another big play in a game that's had its share. 33 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. From the one-yard line, first down and goal. They'll run here with Singletary. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front. And he's in. Devin Singletary. Touchdown, New York. That just feels like a big drive, doesn't it, Mike? Here in the second half, you got a tie ball game. Now you're able to get out in front. Let's see how this other team responds having to play from behind. We got a ton of time, Greg, but a little momentum feel. Come out of the locker room, take the lead. Now it's up to the other team to climb uphill. So great way, perfect way to get this second half started. Now, Cano for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Giants go up by seven. 28 to 21. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This is going to be taken in at the three. And a 
solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Another great throw, and that's been the story as you check out these numbers. I mean, he has done everything this team has asked of him and more. They'll come up here first and 10. On the handoff, it's Mixon. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. Second and a yard. Stroud to throw. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. They'll try and run for this with Mixon. And he is going to have a Texans first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert on third and one. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. On first down, they keep it on the ground, and they keep it with Mixon. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Off the RPO, they'll get it to Brown. It'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. The defense all over that. Met him in the backfield, stopped in his tracks, and it sets up fourth down. The idea here for this offense is you're not really thinking necessarily touchdown. You're thinking first down. Let's get a fresh set of downs here and reset. But in this case, they suffer a loss, and it brings up fourth down. The Texans set to punt this one away. They'll punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. And the kickoff doesn't even get to midfield. That is a huge mistake and gives the opponents great field position. They'll give it to Singletary to begin this drive. Room to run past the 15. Great run there. He gets this up close to the 30-yard line. How about 28 yards on the first play of the drive? First down picked up. Well, that's how you get a drive started. A big play here in the run game. And you have to imagine this is something we're going to continue to see. Success early in the drive typically results in success later in the drive. So both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll go back to Singletary on first down. And he'll get about five. From the 
gun, it's Jones. He'll get it into the hands of Slayton. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. Give him 14 on that one. That's good for a Giants first down. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. In motion, it's Robinson. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. That's a gain of 11. And they'll move the chains with another first down. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. Take the handoff. Now Jones. He'll take a shot here. Back to the end zone. That ball broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw. But I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. Now Jones throwing on second down. Uh-huh. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. That's his second catch on the drive. This one is good for 20 yards. Well, the run after catch is certainly nice, and they're definitely going to take it. But watch the savviness of the route running. Certain guys just have a better feel for running these slant routes than others, and it's a nice result. Throwing on first down is Jones. This is part two. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, New York. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Gano, on to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Giants will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here comes a return from the three. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Texans offense getting set to get back to work. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. That's complete to Diggs. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. An ideal beginning to this drive. 24 on the first play. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark. Just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. there maybe a yard he
Here's second and nine. To throw, it's Stroud. They try to work the screen with Mixon. And a good job rallying to the football, holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Just a little slow developing on that screen play there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. From the gun here on third down, it's Stroud. He's got his man. It's Diggs. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. A big play and a much needed one as well. 36 yards. And this offense is now really on the move, Mike, and it's the passing game that's leading the way. They've been able to march their way downfield thanks to this aerial attack, so don't expect them to go to the ground game anytime soon. If I'm this play caller, I'm continuing to lead on this, not only in this drive, but probably for the rest of this game. That one is caught in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Now, remember, all scoring plays are reviewed tight game tight call they're gonna take a good long look at this one the question did he get his hands around the football in the end zone if he did it's a touchdown but this one's gonna need very close scrutiny so ruled a touchdown originally they didn't find any reason to overturn it and it stays on the board they look to run with Mixon. And I don't think he got there. He did not. They mark him short. The try for two, unsuccessful. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. This taken at the five. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. And all you can do at this point, Mike, is just really marvel at how well he's been able to run the ball. And throughout the course of the game, they've certainly not been shy in giving it to him. And I think he's held up his side of the bargain. First and ten, here's Jones. And that one is incomplete. Penalty flag down back in the backfield in the area of holding. Now Jones on the bootleg. is just giving no time of day to any run actions. They are playing pass all the way, and he can continue to give as many play action fakes as he wants. It hasn't affected anybody, and in this case, it results in a sack. second down it's Singletary you know there's all this talk Mike about the value of the run game in today's NFL you know when the run game matters it matters right now fourth quarter you've got the lead can you lean on your running back and offensive line to close this game out they come to the line needing 11 here on third down throwing Jones 
Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. The Giants sending out their punter as they try to play the field position game here, protecting the fourth quarter lead. Oh, how about that hit? Wow. He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. Well, Mike, sometimes we try to make NFL football a lot harder than it is. When you have a reliable target like this, and he just continues to get open, and you realize the defense simply can't cover him, there's no reason to look anywhere else. Not only has he put together a tremendous game statistically, but he's just been flat out dominant. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side to side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. They'll run. He will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now, it's third down. From the gun, here's Stroud. He'll try to run for it. Can't beat those legs. 13-yard pickup. A scramble leads to a first down. And that just can't happen. Third and long. Just understand. Contain the ball. Rally tackle. Just get the ball carrier on the ground. Not only not able to get to him inside the pocket, he's able to extend the play with his legs and pick up a huge, long first down. On first and ten, here's Stroud. It's downfield. Is caught by Brown. A big play and a much needed one as well. 39 yards. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Plenty of time. All three timeouts left. It's first and ten. Here's Mixon. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. Now, second and four. They'll drop to throw. Trying the right side. Take it in by Collins. Here we go. First and goal. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, so this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two-minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to be on point and... After that first down incompletion, it just makes things that much harder. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So now after that last incompletion, this brings up a critical third down. But remember, Mike, they don't have to get it all here in one play. They've got third and fourth down. There's no punt. There's no kick. They've got to treat this like it's their final possession of the game. And they've got two downs to extend this drive. Throwing here on third and goal. That is incomplete. 
And here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. They desperately needed that one, Mike. Down here late, they've only got a few remaining snaps to go, and it puts all of the pressure of the game now on fourth down. Let's see what play call they have in a gotta-have-it situation. And right now, this quarterback... And this will be a touchdown! They are within a two-point conversion of coming back to tie this game. The tight end using the middle of the field. I got a tight end next to me who's caught 60 NFL touchdowns. Knows how to operate down in those spaces. And that was my favorite place to operate, Mike. I always had this rule. The closer you got to the middle of the field, the worse they got at defending the pass. So that's where I wanted to work. And that's where this guy was working and leads himself to a touchdown. Now, remember, all scoring plays are reviewed. Tight game tight call they're gonna take a good long look at this one so ruled a touchdown originally they didn't find any reason to overturn it and it stays on the board and he is going to get into the end zone. The two-point conversion works, and we've got ourselves a tie game. You can just tell the teams that practice these end-of-game situations. After the offense scored, there was no big hoopla. They weren't throwing themselves a parade. They immediately knew they had to go for two, get back in the huddle, get their best play call executed, and we got a tie ball game. We are in the final minute of what is now a tie game as we are set for the kickoff. On the return, it's McKenzie. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Giants offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. This game all even now. Following that touchdown a moment ago, they'll look to retake the lead on this drive that starts with first down. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They'll try again here. It's second and ten. Shotgun now for Jones. Well, right side taken in by neighbors. And the Giants here will use the first of their timeouts. And will stop it with a little over 30 left in the game. Final minute, still two timeouts remaining as we get to first and ten. Working from the gun, it's, and the rush gets there. Down he goes. Now a timeout, Giants. That is their second. And they'll stop it with 28 seconds to go in the game. Now on second and long. to throw is Jones. And that's going to wind up incomplete. Pressure certainly impacted the quarterback there. Couldn't get his arm all the way through. And it's going to bring up a third down. A great pass rush is like a closer in baseball. When you bring them into the game, it's all but over. That's exactly the case here. It doesn't result necessarily in a sack, but it was the hit that altered the throw just enough to end that play before it started.
Fair catch made here, and the drive will start at the 23-yard line. Four quarters could not determine a winner. We get back underway here in overtime. This will be returned from the six. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Texans offense back onto the field for their next possession. They try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. Now a first throw here in overtime. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker, but it is a pickup of nine. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback recognizing when you're open stay open that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend the Texans getting all set to punt and he's on for a big one here in overtime oh hello he is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. Here's the Giants offense. Now they get set to take over once more. They'll start it here with a first and ten. The drive starts with a carry by Singletary. Up the sideline to the 40. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. A huge play there in overtime. 38 yards. There's a combination of footwork and vision. His ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They go. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back. For each team trading blows, trying to establish control over the other. Nice chunk play on the previous play. The defense responds back with a sack, and we'll see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds. Here's Jones to throw. That is caught. It's Robinson. And he's into the end zone. That'll do it. They win it in OT. And he continues to remain on fire. That is a rare NFL day. Five touchdown passes thrown. And Mike, at this point, the defense just looks completely lost out there. I mean, they have no answers whatsoever, giving up the fifth touchdown pass of this ballgame. So a road win here for the Giants. They had to work for this one. All even through four quarters. 
able to get the breakthrough in overtime to come away with the victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.